Hello, and welcome back to the Nerdy Magical Girl podcast. I am your host, Milady Confetti, and it is New Year's Eve that I'm recording this. You're probably going to see this on New Year's Day, but when I'm recording this, it is New Year's Eve. Um, if you are not already subscribed here, why aren't you? You should do that. Um, and also subscribe on the other things that I have my podcast on. You should do that. <laughs> do that too. Um, wow. 2022 is over. It's over. Um, well, for me, it gave me a, give a couple of hours, but um, I wanted to take this day to kind of, or take this time to reflect on it. this whole year has been very interesting. While there has been like a lot of successes, there has been an undertow of chaos <laughs> and it's been a very interesting duality to experience and live because I, if I had to give this year one, one word, it would be tumultuous, tumultuous. Um, and I know today, like I, I'm definitely tired. I typically stream on, on New Year's Eve cause I don't really like have anybody to hang out with, um, and my real life. So I was, you know, I typically s spend that time with my community and, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't do that this year. Um, I wanted to take this day to reflect on a lot of things. Um, there was, uh, this a show that Tracy Ellis Ross had did, um, about hair, black hair and black hair journeys and stuff like that, that I had watched part of, and I had seen her doing some promotion on Instagram, um, in some kind of like barber shop or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but essentially she was saying, um, that black women spend so many times because she executive produced, um, the whole show. It's over on Hulu. Um, anybody can watch it. It's definitely really, um, cool to watch um but she was explaining that black women spend so much time pitching themselves and convincing everybody else um especially like in the creation space that you are worthy and you're worthy the worthy of the investment that by the time you get the thing you are exhausted and that is like the most elegant way I could put this year. <laughs> um, because while, you know, a lot of really cool, successful things were happening and I am going to pat myself on the shoulder for those things. I worked my butt off for them. Um, you know, with any, with any of the, um, productions that I do with my cosplays, um, the productions that I do with my photography productions that I do with my streams, what I do here with my podcast. Like I am always trying to improve myself and, you know, see how I can work things in, you know, with my creativity and do these things work, do these things align, but you spend so much time convincing people that you're worthy that by the time is you're there, it's like, dang, <laughs> I'm exhausted. And not to say I'm unappreciative. I just want people to really understand, especially in the content creator space. The reason why I emphasize, you know, I am a dark skin, black, asexual woman. The reason why I emphasize those things, because those are the things I have to convince people of <laughs> that I am worthy to be in spaces. And this time last year, I spent going into the new year playing Resident Evil Village. And I was saying, you know, hey, you know, I'm not going to be just the girl that plays Dead by Daylight. I'm not going to be just the girl that cosplays. I'm not going to be just the person that, you know, speaks up. I'm not going to be just that box that people want to put me in. No, I am more than that. I am more than that. And normally, like I said, I do spend years even with my community, but I want to take this day to really reflect because this year, you know, I see my metrics drop because I took dead by daylight off my main, my main, my main course, my main form of content. Like it's not something I don't do that just on YouTube. I don't do that just on uh, stream. I don't do that just on my TikTok. I don't do that. It's not just that I have expanded. And because something like that has a cult following, you see that dip. And I'm going to not going to say that got to me, got to me hard. Like, I'm not going to sit out here in front, like, Oh my God, like it's just a blah, blah, blah. That got to me hard <laughs> because, you know, they, there have been so many deals that I have been turned down from, you know, that I've, you know, wanted to work with brands and stuff like that. And they're like, sorry, you don't have the CCV. Sorry, you don't have the following. Sorry, like you're not enough. You're not enough. You're not enough. Because when I was playing Dead by Daylight, I was enough. But now that, you know, I am have a more diverse audience, it's not so much. That's tough. That is tough. That's I'm being very real. That is tough. 
and you know you have to go on camera and you know and, and smile that everything is okay and it's like dang i'm hurting inside i'm hurting <laughs> as a content creator i want to always show up and be unapologetically myself and i think that is something i'm getting more and more comfortable with um every single day and you know mostly and also reinforcing my boundaries uh I, i'm not going to go into much detail because you know i like to keep my private life private but there are a lot of things that i went through in my personal and private life that did affect a lot of my content and i said on instagram i think you know i felt like sometimes those things i feel like when i should be over here that you know these things were keeping me 10 steps back because adhd depression anxiety those three together Woo! Oh my God. I, I, there are a lot of times I just, I couldn't get out of bed. It would be literally my cat Zuko probably biting me because he was hungry, but like it got to the point where like I, I couldn't move. I, I felt frozen, but I had to do it because like, I don't say, is that, is that grind culture? But I feel like it's grind culture, like more specifically, like when it comes to like the intersectionalities of being a black creator, especially a black woman. And just, you know, trying to trying to make it, trying to, you know, make this thing pop and stuff like that. So it's just like, uh, that's that's that was tough. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here and say that I wasn't hurt. I'm not going to sit here and say that that wasn't my experience. You know, so while, you know, you have these awesome highs of, you know, being on a commercial for the freaking Game Awards. That was so cool. So cool to shoot. I dressed myself. I did my own makeup. I did like, well, I didn't do my hair. You know, my aunt does my aunt does my hair and like, you know, I, I had so much hands on, ex like, uh, hands on like experience or hands on like, you know, input for that. Like that is incredible. And that my face was shown in front of millions of people in the game awards. Like that's so cool. And can I tell you the, what was that? The day, the evening before I showed up for that shoot, I had one of the worst anxiety attacks because of things that were happening in my personal life to the point where I was like sick. You wouldn't know it because the way I show up when I shoot, I showed up professional, showed up right, makeup was snatched, everything. But like, that's why I say like, I have like these hots and these colds of like, um, it feels like a thunderstorm <laughs> that like was constantly like swirling um, with me. And that, that was very hard to balance. And I'm not going to say like, you know, now that when it's January 1st, all that's going to go away. It's, it's not, it's not. And it's something I'm really trying to, to work through. Like I'm in a bad depressive spell right now. You might not know it. Um, because you know, you know, Fenty shade 450 is doing its work, but you know, it's, it, I think there's like a lot of um, loneliness, like when it comes to content creation and a lot of people are don't talk about or too afraid to talk about or too ashamed to talk about. I, I'm just gonna say I'm very lonely. I had to tell, I told this to, um, my one friend, I, I had to tell her straight up, but I was just like, I am, I'm just very lonely. I feel alone. Um, I feel like surrounded by people, but I feel very alone. And I feel like silly for saying that. And she's like, she said, like, I'm not silly, you know, for feeling that way. You know, it's a very normal thing to feel, but it's just, it, it's, it sucks. And one thing like with content creation, I try to be as vulnerable as, as possible within my comfort zone. Cause like I said, I'm still a very private person. So I keep, I keep a lot of things private to myself and that's just my, you know, personal boundaries. But with content creation, where you're trying to, you know, broaden your horizons, when you're trying to, you know, do so much, you have so many things hitting you all at once. Sometimes it is hard to stand up on your own two feet. <laughs> it's really, really tough. So what I want from, for 2023, um, I'm a type of person, I kind of, you know, journal and do a lot of things privately because I don't know if that's like a superstitious thing. I, I don't know. I've just always kind of been like that. But one thing I know that I will do and you all will see because I'm going to make it happen periodic table is I want to do more. <laughs> I want to do, I want to do more. Like I want to do more modeling. I want to do more of the things that I was doing. Like I'm the type of person, I want to be a better person tomorrow than I was today. I want to have another skill, you know, tomorrow that I didn't have today. I always want to be growing and growing. And that is my growth mindset. So that's something that I'm always aiming for. Um, being okay with um, taking breaks, that is something I'm still teaching myself because my rest, 
I, it's not even just rest. I just need to pour more into myself because I'm a type of person who I will give and give and give until there's nothing left and other people are prospering and getting, you know, getting their W's and stuff like that. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here like my well is dry. My bucket is empty, <laughs> as my mentor would say. So I need to do things to refill my bucket and put my bucket first and be OK with that. Be OK with that. Um, I know there's going to be a couple format changes with here on the podcast, which I did mention two weeks ago, maybe three, um, not just with the schedule, but also just things that I want to focus on. So I want to do like a lot more things like with interviews, you know, we're going to be focusing a lot on anime because um, that's what um, the feedback I got from um, mostly patrons and stuff like that, which shout out to the patrons, oh, my patrons and my coffee mates. Y'all are amazing. And thank you so much for financially supporting the podcast. Y'all are so dope. And thank you for supporting me um, for, you know, focusing on things like that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with mental health. Like I'm still going to talk about the thing. It's my platform. I'm going to do what I want with it period but um i know that's something that people are interested in. but the thing is also i'm interested in those things i have shied away let me tell y'all something i have shied away from talking about I, I mean like i said i don't do hot takes i don't do hot takes if i have something to say i have very strong reasons to back it up like like what i said about aaron yeager okay okay but i want to talk about that i want to talk about anime you know what i mean like i want i want to talk about these i want to talk about games and you know i already do like cozy gaming and stuff like that cozy game reviews over on my you know cozy confetti channel which you know cool that's fine but like i want to i want to get more into that and like that brings that brings me a lot of joy <laughs> Um, right now I am still in the process of creating my whole like pink gamer setup and something that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid and it looks really cool right now. Um, it's just covered in a bunch of boxes still. <laughs> it looks cool, but I just, you know, I have 16,000 boxes over there. Um, for people who are listening on podcasts, I'm looking over to the side of the room that has a bunch of freaking boxes in it. <laughs> um, but I will be recycling those hopefully soon when the rain stops. But, um, yeah, I, I, I want to focus on the things that just that I that fill me with abundance. Um, like I said, it anime makes me so stinging happy. Like I was so excited for Classroom of the Elite season two. I haven't even talked about that. I talked about it one time on YouTube, and I haven't even like expanded on that. Like we're we're getting into that. Okay, <laughs> we will be getting into that period um yeah and still like you know growing social media and stuff like that i i know tiktok can be like um i think tiktok is like the physical manifestation of like hot and cold like that thunderstorm i'm talking about that's inside of me because like one thing something will take off and the other things it won't um but <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> Because I know that like still there are people out there who are still seeing my content, still enjoying my content. I just want to have more focus and I want to, um, I want to have, yeah, I want to have more focus and I want to just do things and lean into my abundance and things that bring me joy. And not to say that I haven't been doing that this year, but I think there has just been a lack of focus and I kind of been all over the place. And I feel like I was talking about that in therapy, how like um, I think that is like very much my writing style, too, because my writing style, oh, the feedback I would always get was you lack focus, pick a topic and stick to it. But I'm like, I have so many thoughts in my brain and there's the ADHD cycling and then there's anxiety is like if i don't get all this out then they're not gonna know what i mean ah so oh my god i've never seen my computer do this before my computer just like literally went to sleep on me while i'm recording i apologize for that that was very strange <laughs> um we're just gonna be rolling with it um if things happen we're just gonna be rolling with it the show the show goes on and you know what honestly I'll, I'll say something out loud that I really want to make this year. I'm going to say it out loud. YouTube partner. That will be happening this year. That will be happening. Period. Um, I know that I am somebody who puts, I've said this on uh, Twitch too, um, like one of my live streams, but I put so much focus on Twitch. No more. Like, I, I, not to say I won't be streaming. Of course, I'm going to be streaming. I stream three days a week um, from Tuesday through Thursday. Um, do mid, uh, It's usually midday EST. But like, 
I'm putting, I, I, I like this. I like recorded content. I like doing interviews. I like doing things like this. I love making TikToks. That's what I was talking about with TikTok. Like I love making TikTok. I love streaming on TikTok. For, TikTok though, with, <laughs> if you're streaming Pokemon, it's a little ratchet over there, but it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's the thing that, like I said, you so like, when I mentioned Twitch, like I'm like, oh, like, you know, I'm slouching, shoulders down, like my voice is down. But like when I mentioned those other things, like those things that feed into abundance, um, and understanding that, like, you know, the cards that I have been dealt, you know, trying to work with them and work with what I got, um, because the thing is, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at what I do. And I can say that proudly, 10 toes down. I am good at what I do. And people believe in me and I believe in me. I just need like, you know, the depression, anxiety and ADHD to take a break, <laughs> give your girl a break. But even so, even if they don't to recognize that that is not a flaw, to recognize that I am human and that is OK <laughs> and that is OK. And I just move with it. Um, yeah, I have mentioned um, just some housekeeping things. I mentioned I'm um, trying to get more guests on the Nerdy Matchable Girl podcast. Um, we have a lot of things lined up. The two guests that I'm trying to get, um, every company in the world is on winter break until like January, probably like the second week of January. So emails will resume. Um, hopefully we will be able to get um, some of that some of that rolling. But uh, I have so many guests uh, Guests that I want to bring on, industry people, anime people. Ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, that I just want to do. I want to, I, I, I listen. 2023 is just going to be a year of just fun. And I'm just going to be having so much fun. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> I have some other things, other goals like, that I want to do. But obviously, like I said, I'm, I'm a little super, a little, I, thought, I don't know when that started in me. I don't know when that started in me. But, you know, there's something I'm just going to journal and write down and have as um, reinforcements for me. Um, and get ready to see more diverse content because, I mean, it's already diverse. But like, I think it's going to be diverse with focus, if that makes sense. So that's really what's going to be happening. 2022, girl, while we have a few more hours here at the time of recording, it's been real. Thank you for all the lessons, because every day was a lesson. I am tired. And that is why I took today to rest and reflect instead of streaming. Um, and, and I know my community understands that. And I appreciate you all. Let me tell you something. My community has... God, that, that my community doesn't know. Like I, I, like I said, I keep a lot of things private, but I think they can also tell because we hang out so much that when something is off and I just want to say a huge thank you to my community for just being there for me and telling me to rest when I needed to. Um, I want to thank everybody, like all of my sponsors, um, Elgato, um, AMD, Logitech G, um, for believing in me and giving me opportunities of a lifetime. And I really hope that we can continue and expand on that in 2023. Honestly, um, I'm saying goodbye to toxic relationships and toxic friendships and all those things. I am cutting them off. I am doing that for me. Um, and I also just want to, um, Thank just every single company that just who sends me gifts. That's Dead by Daylight. That's Xbox, um, PlayStation, who gives me codes um, when I request them. I really appreciate that. Um, and I know I have I know I have a few things that I owe y'all. I know I know Sony. I know don't come don't come after me or my family. I know I know girl. I'm getting to it. Trust me, trust me. It is on the agenda. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for today. Um, a lot of reflection, a lot of rambling. But focus rambling, focused. <laughs> that's the, that's the goal always. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope you have a wonderful New Year. I hope you have a healthy, peaceful, prosperous, loving New Year. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Drink some water, and I will see you on the next episode, which will be resuming. I will say towards the end of January. So I can get those guests and stuff like that um, back on here. Like I said, it's probably going to be a different format. That's OK. We're going to we're just going to we're going to roll with it because, listen, we're leaning into abundance, abundance. I will see you all next time. Have a happy new year.